Hey guys, this is Cora and Jonathan from Bad Boy Custom Lures. Jonathan is painting today. And as you can see, he is painting this S-crank. The blank we got from Jimmy over at LoreBill.com. And he's going to be using these really cool eyes in Lord. it. That's also from LoreBill.com. And he's going to be using these stencils mm -hmm. that he's got from Russ Allen over at Insane Custom Stencils. Definitely check both those guys out. Great guys. Awesome customer service. Jimmy's got good quality blanks and eyes. Anything you need uh, to lower build with, he's got you covered. And on this blank that we're, that he's painting, he's already got it base coated in white. And he's already got his fluorescent yellow. yellow and a jacardi. jacardi. Okay. And he's already got that done. He's going to start painting the orange now. On the belly here. On the belly. It's also jacardi. jacardi. This Overlook the bottle, guys. <laughs> you can tell we paint. Mm -hmm. They got all got dusty on them. Ain't no big deal, though. Let me shake my paint up here real quick. He's going to be painting a perch pattern is what he's doing. We got some really cool eyes to put in it. So, the reptile eyes. I think it's really going to make his bait jump. He's just doing light layers for anybody new to painting. He's not going at it real heavy. Let's build my colors up. It's, yeah, it's building it up. Okay, let me wash my gun out real quick. We're going to the next color, which will be uh, Pearl Eyes uh, Cratex Auto Colors Red. It's a Cratex, and it's a Pearl Red that he's going to be using next. Pearl Eyes Red, I think. Alright, he's got his gun washed out and he's starting with the next color. And I just want to go, uh, I use it on the top for that, uh, where that first arrow line is there. Ain't going to pass through it at all. Just like he was saying, building it up. Real white. His colors and... Washed it out real quick. There you go. You can see he just went down just a little bit, not too far, with that red. That way you can still see the yellow real good and that orange on the belly. Let me heat set this real quick. I'm taking an air gun to heat set it, so I'm doing. And he's using this heat gun. Good. Heat set the bait real quick because you always want to heat set it in between each uh, base coat before he does the detail work. That way it doesn't mess up paint on there. Okay, the next step I'm going to do, I don't know what material this is i think it might be uh dirt dirt cloth and i got it from hobby lobby and what it will do is do like electricity book on top i'll show you how i'm gonna do that glitter ribbon mm -hmm. but i think some the, people call it but the proper name is doorless cloth i think it's from hobby lobby yeah. you can get it at hobby lobby yeah any of the different little fabrics like that you can see i'll get yeah. a little closer and on the next it. color i'm using is a high golden black it's in yeah, high golden carbon black and what I'm going to do now is just add it to my gun. Okay, one second, guys. And he's just getting his colors ready. Testing my black, see what's going to do before I spray on the bait. That's good. Turn my pressure down real quick. Um, for the detail, he is turning his pressure down. He's going to turn it down to about 10, 10 psi. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to clamp his own because I'm pretty much now where I could do it without clamps. Situation. 
it here. Put it on here. This. I'm just going to hold it in place with my fingers. And you can see he's just got it wrapped around the bait. And you can use clamps, whatever, alligator clips, whatever you want to use. Sorry about that compressor, guys. Yeah, it's very loud. Sorry, guys. We do need a quieter compressor. So what I'm going to do now is darken the eyes up with high golden black. That's good. I'm going to wait set real quick. I'm going to the next step. He's just using that heat gun just to heat set that before he does more detail work. That way it doesn't mess up what you've already done. No. And what I've done here is uh, I draw this out on some paper. And I just cut it out with the Zecto knife is what I've done. But I also got a stencil like this. And uh, it's in the M65 wheel. And uh, I, got, I got the perch pattern from Insane Custom Stencils. But I made this a long time ago when I first started painting. Because I didn't have a perch pattern at the time. So what I'm going to do is just to put this on my bait and line it up here. Hold on a second. There it is. It's one side. I'm going to heat set this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side now. Let's look at that and see how it looks on the other side. Okay. There's another step I'm going to do. I'm going to take this material. I think it's called uh, a mash type of cloth or something. Yeah, it's like a mash material. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this little uh, gill. I'm going to spray it real light. You and it gives it like a, it gives it gives another little type of <laughs> different look. I'm spraying light. Okay. Yeah, just very light. You can see there that what he's doing. Move this he's not way. making it very dark. Because I don't want it dark. Just enough to highlight it, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. Let me wash my gun out and I'll put the eyes in. And there's the perch pattern, guys. I call it the red perch. The only thing left is the eyes, and that really makes it pop when he gets those eyes in there. Mm-hmm. Just a second, he's gonna get the eyes and put in there. They're really cool. And like I said, you can get those from laurabill.com from Jimmy. He's got eyes, anything you need. He's got really good customer service, and uh, he can order off him within two days. You'll have your stuff. I mean, he's real quick at uh, getting your stuff to you. Okay, let me find my super glue. It's right here. Okay, let me take off the stand. I'm gonna take the tape off too, guys, and let y'all look at it. The bill and stuff. Just cut when you're if you're new at painting, where you can uh, get a better look at at it. And this lower here is an S crank, and it dives I think three to four foot. I'm pretty sure. 
the eyes I'm using is a reptile glass eye. And they look like this. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of like a reddish eyes. orange color. There's all kinds to choose from on our build. We've got a We've bunch. Got tons. These are some that we really like that stood out to us. Because they're different. And I noticed when I paint and stuff, you know, you can have the most beautiful lure in the world as you paint it up, but you can also put some uh, awful eyes in it, and it, it'll take away from your bait. Yeah, you want to make sure you've got great eyes to go in there. It just really makes that bait pop. That way, because you want to do a great paint job on it, but you want great eyes to go in it, too. Just trying to get this super glue. Okay. I'm just putting some super glue in the eye sockets. You not too much. Put a little bit of super glue there. That way you're not overdoing it. I'm going to let that bite real quick. Here's what it's going to look like. There's the finished product, guys. And I'm going to do the other side real quick. take the tape off real fast let y'all get a better look at the lure and I think I'm gonna do a, a video maybe twice a week yeah so definitely check out our channel check out you know subscribe to our YouTube We'll have, you know, one to two videos out each week. And also, guys, and if you all, uh, if you all, uh, got any requests to paint a lower, any advice, what you'd like to send me paint, I'll be more happy to paint anything yeah, you want me to paint. Yeah, post anything in the comments, guys. But here's what it looks like. But there's the finished product. Let me get you another look on the other side. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is, uh, I'm mm -hmm. going to clear coat this lower, and I'm going to dip it in a UV clear. Yeah, and that UV clear is really quick. It just takes two hours. About two hours, and it's you dry solid. Your, you dry your baits underneath lights. Under a UV lights, ultra light. It's kind of like a KBS, but the solution's a lot thicker. And what I do is I'll dip my lower and and check for bubbles. And if they got any bubbles, I'll take a heat gun and I'll just right. heat set it and uh and just hang it and let it dry. And that is that. But there it is. Definitely check out the channel. Subscribe and any requests, put them in the comments. Thank you guys.